In my previous video, I showed how to get 100s in all 6 stats at once using invisible stats. Well, I got a lot of comments saying I missed a few of those invisible stats, so in this video, I'll go over even more ways to get some absurdly high stat builds. Also, stick around to the end for a really easy way to get an additional 180 stats almost all of the time. I'm Marshix, and I make Destiny 2 guides for solo players. Be sure to click like if you like clicking. Now, if you didn't watch my other video, here's everything you need to know. Visible stats are the stat points you can see on your character screen, and invisible stats are usually temporary stats that come from armor or weapon buffs. So you get the benefits from them, but you don't actually see the stat changes in the menu. I will only go over the sources of invisible stats. Anything that directly affects ability cooldowns without the use of stats will be left out. First up is lightweight weapons. While you have a lightweight frame in your hand, you get plus 20 to mobility. This will increase your walk speed and jump height by two mobility tiers and will not go above 100. It will also reduce your dodge cooldown on Hunter, so this is actually really helpful. And this plus 20 is active all the time on weapons with lightweight frame, as well as Midas Synergy on the Callus mini tool. Speaking of the mini tool, it and other opulent weapons each have the 2 excess origin trait. While your super is full, each kill will increase your discipline and strength by 20 points each. One kill will give you the buff, then each additional kill extends the duration. You never lose it. There's also an artifact mod this season which doubles the effect of this perk. This means while the buff is active, it grants 40 discipline and 40 strength. Use this mod, you won't regret it. It only costs 1 energy and it's so good. Another origin trait that increases stats is Land Tank. This is on all of the PsyOps Battleground weapons. This perk will grant 10 resilience for 5 seconds after each kill, stacking up to 3 times. This even affects Titan Barricades. Since it only takes kills, it's very easy to activate and keep up at all times. If you are going for max stat builds and you want to use this perk, you may want to use Sweet Sorrow. This is a solid auto rifle that has the Land Tank perk and it can roll with Killing Wind. Final Blows will increase range, handling, and more importantly, mobility. It's a little vague, but after some testing, this will increase your mobility by 50 points. That's huge! That's halfway to max mobility just by getting a kill. Each kill will add 5 seconds to the timer, capping at 8 seconds. Since it's so easy to activate, this will basically be active at all times in most activities, especially if you're playing solo. And since this is mobility, it will also reduce the cooldown for hunter dodge abilities by a good bit. Like I said before, Sweet Sorrow gets this with land tank, so you get plus 50 mobility and plus 30 resilience almost all the time. You can even craft Sweet Sorrow, so you have no excuse not to use this. Another thing that gives a massive mobility buff is Dragon Shadow. Dodging reloads all weapons and increases both movement speed and weapon handling. This will specifically increase slide distance, sprint speed, and raise your mobility by another 50 points. You can have zero mobility with this in Killing Wind, and you still get the benefits from max mobility. The buff does only last for 10 seconds, but that's most of a dodge anyway. Just wait a few seconds, then you can dodge again to get the buff. This next exotic is the Titan's version of Dragon Shadow. Peacekeepers will do a lot to improve SMGs, but the thing we're interested in is mobility while wielding an SMG. This is actually a plus 50 to mobility just by holding an SMG. So if you have a lightweight frame SMG like Funnel Web or Callus Mini Tool, you benefit from both of them, resulting in an additional plus 70 mobility most of the time. All you have to do to reach 100 is masterwork your armor and throw on powerful friends. I got a lot of comments saying Eye of Another World provides invisible stats, but that's not entirely true. It passively increases grenade, melee, and class ability energies by roughly 3 tiers each, but it doesn't actually increase their respective stats. This is made clear by recovery. Your class ability is faster, but your health regen remains the same. And it isn't by much, but grenade and melee abilities with this exotic regen faster even if you have 100 discipline and strength. If it did provide invisible stats, their cooldowns would be capped at 100. So while this doesn't directly provide stats, it kind of does the same. Next up is a way to turn 0 intellect into 100. Font of Wisdom is a mod that raises your intellect straight to tier 10, just by picking up an elemental well that matches your subclass. This is on a 30 second timer that refreshes each time you pick up another well. There are so many ways to get elemental wells now, so keeping this buff going is super easy. Like I said in my last video, if you're using elemental wells, you can completely ignore intellect and PvE. Another effect like this comes from Graviton Forfeit. This will increase the duration of invisibility effects, and while you're invisible, you get faster melee regen, reload speed, and increased recovery. Kinda. This exotic doesn't just increase your recovery by a certain number, but instead it raises it to a set regen speed. It's somewhere between tier 9 and tier 10 recovery. So while this doesn't technically raise your recovery in terms of stat points, it does raise it to almost max whenever you're invisible, so I thought it was worth mentioning. 
I have one more effect that raises a stat to 100 before getting into the big boy stat boost. Pulse Wave. This Stormcaller ability will instantly raise your mobility to 100 whenever you become critically wounded. Not really practical since you have to be weak all the time, but maybe you want this for some weird Tommy's matchbook build. And who knows, this might get crazy with Arc 3.0. This next source is actually insane. But first, if you're enjoying this video, leave a like. It helps me out a lot. And leave a comment if you know of any other invisible stats. Whisper of Hedrons will remove 10 strength, but after you freeze a target, you gain dramatically increased mobility, resilience, recovery, and some other stuff. I believe this is supposed to increase those three stats by 30 points each, but for whatever reason, right now it's actually increasing them each by 60 points. That's 180 total stats just by freezing enemies. Have you ever used a stasis warlock? There's always something frozen. Whether you use broken stasis abilities like Bleak Watcher or weapons like Agra Scepter or Riptide, you can freeze things like crazy and constantly have invisible stat boosts from this fragment. Another subclass fragment that provides a ton of stats is Echo of Domineering. Right off the bat, this grants 10 discipline, which is visible on your character, but it also provides an invisible plus 30 to mobility after suppressing an enemy. The easiest ways to suppress will be with suppressor grenades or shield bash, but even things like tractor cannon will activate domineering. Now that you know all the ways to get invisible stats, check out this video to see how to use them to get 100s in all 6 stats at once. Thanks for watching, I'm Marshix, and I'll see you next time.